And welcome back everybody to another amazing episode of Off The Record where we got the Careful Boys here featuring Kat. Hey, Hello. Kat. Thank you, Kat. Here, I'm not a careful girl. I'm a careful boy, too. Yeah. She got the this biggest dick in the room. You have a huge dick. Yeah, because I feel like that's the only way I can do this and feel at No, home. no, no. You should not feel pressured to feel anything about phantom dicks or anything. Like, yeah. if you choose no, to, No, I just like feel like choice. this is the only, like, safe place for me to do it. Not oh, like okay, cool. Fair. But oh, yeah, I feel fair. like this yeah. is the only place I can do it. You're right, you're right. Give the wrong impression. Like people who come here have to pretend they have a penis. Oh, no, 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 no. You fit in better than some of the. I do. Yeah. You fit in better than some guys that's been here in the uh, past. Absolutely. Really? Like Name who? <laughs> names. Who are they? Go. Names. Bart. Names rhyme Bart. with smart swan. Yeah. swan. Bart Swan. Bert Swan. Bert Swan. Bert Swan. Bert Swan. Bert Swan. Bert Swan sounds like a fuck. Bert Swan. Bert. That guy sounds like he sucks, dude. Bert Swan is such an ugly name. That guy, he probably has nosebleeds all the time. Bert. Bart looks more like a Bert than a Bart. He's a Bert. He's Bert. That's so insulting to tell somebody. You look like a Bert. Dude, Bert, Bert Swan. more like a cat than a cat. Bert Swan only DMs married ladies. Yeah. <laughs> that guy's fucking tricky. <laughs> Is there a Bert Swan in the Bert world? Swan Bert Swan walks out of the bathroom with TP on his shoe. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this guy's name is Bert Swan. Are you serious? Yeah. That guy looks cool. He looks, yeah, looks cool. cool. Okay. okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Like Bert Swans are certifiably to cooler than Bart Swan. I just Wim Hof, dude. I don't think that's oh, Bert speaking Swan. of Bert Swan, dude, yeah. Nikki fucking won World Series of Poker, right? Yeah. Speaking yeah. of the sad, the fourth, fourth Speak, place. Speaking but of Bert as far as her first tournament, she practically won the whole fucking thing. Yeah, yeah dude. Well, her it, was, first it was up against five thousand. Five thousand seven hundred people. Yeah. That's crazy. And Nikki came in fourth. Definitely rookie of the year. Yeah. Crazy. It's not main event yet, so like. During the World Series, it's like a couple month event, and like it starts, um, and and you can do all these different satellite games, whatever. But they're big. Like, there's like high roller tournaments where the entry fee is a hundred grand. Yeah, it's crazy. Very crazy. I got a buddy who's who's doing that even. Damn man, that's Is high name Nikki. Because uh, aren't you, uh, aren't you, Mister Nikki Lima Green? Nikki Lima Green. How does, it, Nikki Nikki Green? How does Nicole, it feel Nicole. like? to do absolutely nothing, but then get the uh, absolutely all the glory. That's incredible. You're a hot girl, that's what you are. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm a hot ass bitch. Because people yeah. congratulate you on behalf of sure. Nikki, yeah. right? Yeah. Like, oh yeah, it's, so, like, it's been hilarious. Honestly, this whole, watching this all happen has been one of the funniest things I've ever been part of. Because seeing Nikki go from the Commerce Casino a year ago, where she was like nervous, because that was like her first time like playing the pros and stuff, to like now she just final table World Series and came in fourth, had a hundred sixteen thousand dollar jackpot, <laughs> fucking crazy. That's so good. And and yeah, like I said, she started playing tournaments four months ago because yeah. tournaments are so different than playing regular yeah. cash poker. games. So yeah, different kind of styles of play. How does how does the tournament work? It's more aggressive. It's well, like, go ahead. Tournament turn uh, tournament. You just pay a fee and then you could do rebuys and stuff like that. But it's timed and then it's elimination. So at the end, the pot that everybody pulled together it's kind of concentrated at the top. Whereas if you play a cash game, it's unlimited. You just keep buying, it's just like guys at a poker table and as long as there's people sitting there, you can play and it's not like a knockout game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's the difference. Yeah, and I would, I would remember, I would take her to the Commerce and then just like, obviously you'd want to be there because Commerce is kind of crazy sometimes, especially when you're leaving at night. So I would just walk her like, like from the car and stuff because Commerce is kind of weird. Um, but Sounds like you're a pimp. I kind of feel like it, yeah. She's a pimp. Like it, yeah. <laughs> no, but it was, dude, watching her win, because she's, uh, dude, the funniest thing too, is that everyone who knows Nikki, right, you think about like Tasty Tuesday, or you think about her on like podcasts and like on JK and Big Mood, but you don't think that she's like fucking a poker shark. Yeah, but, that's crazy. But she has High been level. working so hard behind the scenes, like hours and hours and hours and hours, like doing si poker simulations and all kinds of shit. Like she's been, non-stop pokering like like every day and I've so I've seen the work that goes into it but you know I understand like for most people like who are watching or like <clears throat> they know her on camera yeah she's like baking making food but in behind the scenes she'll cut your fucking throat she's out she's serious <laughs> yeah yeah Pokered. it's fucking so funny so you know people who know us but like don't necessarily hang out with us every day like people like Timmy D right who's like he's seeing this shit and like David was just texting me yesterday and he, they're like who the fuck is your wife dude <laughs> 
Cause it's like, nobody thought this, but then I'm the one who's the least surprised because I'm like, dude, I see this bitch working this shit all the no, time. She's doing it for real though, cause she I got deep work. into it. <laughs> and in a, in a matter of a year, she went way surpassed what I did. Like I was doing it very casually. I got into it a little bit. Um, and then like, I was like, you know, it got kind of ruined because um, our poker group got fucked up. But in what, what Nikki was doing- She's gonna gloss over that one? Just- Yeah. So in my, po quick story, <laughs> my in my poker group, group right? Up. We would go together religiously. We were grinding it out. We were going to all the casinos and card rooms in California. We were playing like 48 hour days. It was fucking sick. Jesus and it was fun. It was That's like casually? 48 hours. It gets, it, if you, when you get into poker, you get in. God, God. Just so following like, the story, just following It's like getting into gaming, right? Like you have your like group that you go on and you fucking play Call of Duty or whatever with and you just go in marathons, right? And then, um, so one of my buddies in the group stole money from another buddy, uh -oh. blew like 80 grand of it, Ooh. Uh -oh. whatever it was. That's a big detail. Because he was thinking, he was thinking, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come up really hard and then bring it back into the account and like make everybody happy. That's what everybody always thinks. Right? It's the best. It's it's the most degen shit ever. And after that, it just left a bad taste in all of our mouths. And then like it kind of broke up the group. So then now it's like you know I don't want to go there by myself. Um, and then life changed and JK started really picking up at that time. So then like we were doing like four or five different channels and just there was no more time for poker. So I really got into it. We used to have poker games here. We used to have JK Poker Nights, um, and none of you guys were a part of that. It was kind of shame. But then a lot of YouTubers would come through, you know? <laughs> and then we would have different tables and do tournaments. That shit was really fucking fun. You guys threw an illegal gambling racketeering? Basically. Allegedly. In California? Allegedly, yeah. allegedly. Mm -hmm. Basically. Yeah. Admitted here, live, yeah. on JK no. News. Yes. More allegedly. All one signed an NDA. What's, yep. the, what's the statute on that? <laughs> I don't know, because they can't Two even years. prove it happened. <laughs> but yeah, that was really fun. Like, and then a lot, yeah, a lot of YouTubers came, whatever, whatever. So then after that, I just, several years went by. And then after I played, like, it was never the fucking same again. And when you play just like your friends, it's much different from going to the casinos. From the casinos, you can do whatever the fuck you want, and you don't feel bad. But from your friends, mm -hmm. and then you can't be as aggressive with your friends. It's different. It's, a, it's like playing mafia, but like you want to play with strangers because you don't know their play, everything, and you can take their money and not feel bad about it. And then I was telling uh, Nikki this because she wanted to play poker a lot, and I was like, nah. And then later she was like, yeah, I know exactly how that feels. I'm like, yeah, right. It's better at the casino. And then um, I started giving her the, some of the books that helped me out, mm -hmm. and I was like, yo, she's taking this hella serious. And then she got to the point where like. She just surpassed my knowledge and understanding of poker. And I was like, fuck, that's dope. And I was telling her the other day, I was like, congratulations. We were like super rooting for you in the group chat. Yeah. You're living my like college dreams. Cause me and Bart used to watch World Series of Poker like in our study breaks during college. And we just watch and be like, man, that's so tight. We should be on a World Series one day. And it's like, fuck, Nikki's gonna go on. Yeah. It was nuts, crazy, dude. bro. How did she even get into poker? Shit, something that she's uh, always dug, like like casually though. She would like play like house games with people. Like she played with the, me and me and her have a fantasy football league. Guys I've been in a group with for like twelve years, and so we we would play there sometimes. And like I fucking suck at poker. I don't understand the game at all. Uh, and that's kind of my favorite thing about it is like if I get an ace, I'm like I just fucking won the whole fucking thing. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm like the, the whole pot. Up. Okay. <laughs> uh, but I yeah I don't understand poker at all. But she she. Um, just started to get really into it during COVID. Like she started to just like really, she was just playing like some bullshit poker app on her phone. Like it doesn't even take, um, doesn't even give you real money. It was just like for funsies. Yeah. And then, yeah, after that she was, you know, she was talking to Joe about, you know, Joe's giving her some books to, to check out. So really thanks to Joe, you know, this is all, this all happened. Uh, <laughs> no. But no, no, it, no, it, you really actually were awesome about that because she was um, she was taking it more seriously and you were treating her like she was taking it more seriously whereas I, a lot of people were just laughing because she's like, you know, pretty girl who like does YouTube stuff so like, you know, every time she shows up at a poker anything all the people there just think she's a fucking Just write her off. And yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, she that's should dope. play that yeah. so hard and because she did. today's video is brought to you by Feels. CBD isn't about what you feel, it's about what you do not feel, such as stress, anxiety, pain, discomfort, yuck. Now, the way I integrate, 
Now the way I integrate feels into my lifestyle is I have a nighttime routine and if you have never ever used CBD, no worries. Feels has an awesome little hotline that you can call ahead and be like, hey yo, check this out. I've never done CBD. How do I do this? And they'll walk you through the process. But this is my nighttime routine. I get a couple of drips and I go doop doop, put that in my tongue. That's pretty chill for me. I do a little bit of reading, maybe some meditation, some stretching, and I get off the phone and I get ready to go to sleep. And it really helps me just have a nice eight hour knockout session. Because when I'm fucking around on the phone, maybe I'm like reading emails, doing whatever, my mind is like super, super out there. And I'm just like full of anxiety. And for some reason, I'm tossing and turning. And before you know it, I'm watching three guys in Vietnam build huts in the jungle. And I can't go to sleep. But thanks to Feels, I have this nighttime routine and it feels really, really good. And also you can save money on every order and you can pause or cancel at any time. So start feeling better with Feels. Become a member today by going to feels.com slash off the record. And you'll get 50% off your first order with free shipping. That's F-E-A-L-S dot com slash off the record to become a member and get 50% off automatically taking off your first order with free shipping. Feels.com slash off the record. That's what I love about poker is it's imagine playing mafia and we all fucking love mafia, but there's money and gambling involved. That's the best fucking part yeah, of Joe's it. Joe's so hard right now. Because, it's crazy, dude. <laughs> dude. He's fucking hard. Because like when it comes to just table games, meaning like just um, games at the casino, right? There's no way of maneuvering out of your loss. Yes. The cards are what the cards are. Mm. So when it comes out, like meaning like you play blackjack or you play the casino, it's just a statistics game. It gets mm. really boring. There's no real advantage. When it comes to poker, you can kind of psychologically fuck with your opponent to make them believe that you actually won. Mm. Where they might have won, they might have had the cards, but if they're also a weak player, they you could take their money. Make them second guess themselves. Exactly, and that's the beauty behind it, is because the risk, there's you like a double it? risk. You're not just playing the cards, you're not just playing the odds. You're also playing players. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's me. Go ahead. Like, oh you shit, two play? aces. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's me. I'm like, I'm like, is that so good? Basically, I just want a million dollars. All your money is mine. Yeah. Everyone folds and I'm like, fuck. <laughs> Come on, everyone, all in right now. Yeah. And no matter what, any card that comes out, even if it's like, it's like two, four, five, I'm like, I got the aces. It's over. I, don't, I don't want to pay attention to any of that shit. No, no. The river, the no, fucking, no, 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 what no, is no, it? No, no. The. Nick's the guy who just wow. immediately puts his fucking car keys down on the table. <laughs> Dude, but there is so much to the game that I... This pot's on me. Like, I, I thought I didn't know poker before, and then now Nikki's like... She's deep, huh? Deep. And then yeah. she, the way that she talks about it, too, it's like when my brothers joined the military. I don't know if you, get, you guys know people who are in the military. When they're around each other, they're just like talking in code because they're like talking about like. Eh, Semper eh, Fi, you know. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hoorah. Hoorah. I'm like, Purple Hearts show, shit. you know. I'm like, what's Honorable that? Honorable Discharge. <laughs> they're talking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Morse code. So yeah, it's like that, bro. It, it's kind of like the tubers, right? So, so like, like crypto talk. Or like, like crypto talk for other people. Yeah, for sure. But it's like tubers, right? Like tubers. When I first was coming up on, on the tubes, I remember going to people's houses and they they just did YouTube for a living. I was like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what, what are you talking fuck? about? That? Talking about like analytics, talking about like yeah. media stuff. Yeah, and yeah. they're, they're all- And you could get paid for this stuff? Like, dude, it's that. Yeah. And it, it's yeah. like, they're, they're all tuber carnies, you know? Cause they're- Carnies? Like, everyone whips out the cameras and they're all like, okay, you post this on this day. Don't you post this until then? Cause I'm going to announce this then. And it's like, you guys know how that is with the tubes, but, um, but with poker, we just went to like this guy's house because we're like in these poker circles now, and we were just at the, um, this guy's house, and everyone there just does poker for a living. Everyone there, so it was like, you know, hearing them all talk code around, <laughs> and you're just sitting there like, it's fucking hilarious, dude. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I can't even believe this shit's actually real. But it's it's like the same feeling that I had when I was meeting tubers. That's tubers. tight. Yeah. Wow. yeah. And they were really cool. Like it's kind of like early tubes, like like more tight knit. Everyone's more supportive yeah. and not doing the whole like I hope you fucking lose. Fuck yeah. you. you know what I mean? Like like that kind of is what YouTube turned into later. Yeah. That's yeah. funny for poker though. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, isn't it? Because you're actually fucking see poker wrecked. drama. Yeah. And, well, I'm sure it'll get there. As poker there, as will have its attitude era soon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But we but we met um, some really cool people in the poker community. Really fucking cool. But our neighbor, like, like right next door to us, yeah. is. Poker legend. He won the World Series of Poker before, and we've just That's been hanging nice. out with them for a couple months since we moved in. And so, the, the fact that like the other night, 
um, I was doing my crypto corner and he and Nikki makes final table and I call him and I'm like, yo, bro. He's like, dude, this is fucking crazy. He's like, this is fucking crazy. He's like, this shouldn't even be happening. He's like, this, I, this is crazy. He's like, I was like, we should go down there, right? He's like, yeah, we should, we should go down there. I was like, awesome. So we both Ubered down there, and then, like, I'm surrounded by all these poker guys. And I'm just some fucking asshole, from that, dude. <laughs> and I barely even know what's going on. Like, I have to, like, I have to, like, so like, they're going like, oh my god, okay, she, Nikki, <laughs> Limo Green just shoved, shoved, and I'm like. The fuck is going on, guys? You know what I mean? And then all these guys can just see what's going on, and they all go, "Oh!" And I'm like, "What is it? A royal flush?" Yeah. And I'm like, "Oh, she had the nuts the whole time." And they're all talking this the whole time. Steve's like, "She doesn't have any aces." I'm like, "She doesn't have." She's gonna lose. Right down there. It's the dude. It's the best. It's the most confusing, but fun. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
And they're like, oh, uh, we need that back. It's like in Casino when they make that guy fly back or they delay his plane. Exactly. The Japanese he tried, yeah, he tried right? to leave. Yeah. Oh, it's so tight. The best. Yep. And then he ends up broke, right? Yep. Yeah. That's the game. Got to stay on the merry-go-round. Can't <laughs> let him off. Yeah. But yeah, no. Um, it's it's also funny, too, because she, she is such a humble person. Like, going into the World Series, she's just telling me, she's like, I just want to be there. I just want to play there. Cause she's like been reading about it all year and like excited about it all year. So I'll just can't wait to be around it and like in it and get. She got merch day one and oh, shit. Cool. Yeah, and then now she's fucking getting sponsored by these poker Dude, companies. It's so fucking cool. It's man. so, it's so cool. dope. Cool. It's hilarious. When you sent that, I thought it was. I thought it, when you first sent it in the group chat, I thought it was like Ryan a fucking, fucking like, Photoshop like a Photoshop shit. fake Ryan article. Because I was, again. I was catching up. You thought I was making a joke article? Yeah, again. Because like, <laughs> it was like because obviously it's in your wheelhouse. You know what I mean? So I was like scrolling through and I was like, is this real? And I had to go all the way up the text message yeah. to realize the punchline in that. I don't know. Ryan I don't, makes, I don't know. Ryan, for context, Ryan makes fake articles and sends them to our group chat all the fucking time. <laughs> yeah, right. He's hilarious. a faker over he's there. He's a big time faker. <laughs> he's a deep faker of articles. Yeah. That's a very that's the joke. Oh, she won she won all this money. Wow. That's hilarious. <laughs> I didn't know the context until I read that's the whole conversation. Somebody made money this year. Yeah. I just gotta find <laughs> my Salvador, dude. True. Babylon B's gonna hire me for that one. <laughs>